getting together a seat for El Dingo. Drew out all the measurements we needed here. The only thing we had to work with was the headrest. So I used that as a template. And the back and the bottom I just had to measure on the cart. And make something one that would fit. Got our plywood here. We had the headrest. Or what's left of it I guess you would say. So we used that as a template for the headrest. Got the seat bottom all drawn out there. And then this would be the seat back. Well, I cut out our plywood on the table saw. And just a rough fit, make sure it all works on the cart. And fits. Now I'll use the jigsaw to round off the edges. And then I'll use the belt sander to smooth off the rough edge. So it doesn't uh, affect our vinyl. Got some black vinyl. We've laid out our seat bottom, our headrest, and our seat back. We've got all the edges of our wood rounded off nicely. Cutting out the vinyl for the seat for our El Dingo go kart. Got the back, the headrest, and the seat bottom come out. And then the strips for the sides but ran into a problem well we had to go to plan B since our sewing machine isn't working properly so I had just enough vinyl to cut out another seat back and bottom so I just uh, hand stitched our corners there here's our bottom already done It'll come up pretty good Well, we've got all four corners sewed up on our seat back. Got our wooden back of the seat back. We painted the back side of it black. We've got our T-nuts. Lay it like so. Straighten it all up. Get her tacked down. Now I've got the bottom stapled down on our seat back. And we've got the top stapled down. Nip a little excess material off the corners and then we'll fold up the sides and get those tacked down. Now we got our seat back just about done. We ran out of staples so we're going to have to make a tri quick trip to the store to finish up. but. Got her almost done. Go kart seat. We got our go kart seat all together and bolted on. Come out pretty goodly. Now we'll get that battery box and controller mount and everything up in here. Doing a little filing here to slot out our motor mounting holes. As you can see, I just drilled out the normal slotted hole here to mount our motor, but it's not really adjustable. So I have to slot out the holes so they're more like that from 5 16 up to 3 8 This is the big powerful motor, so we want the biggest bolts that we can. Then we'll get the motor mounted up here and get our batteries in here and start hooking up our controller. Brake all hooked up. Got the motor all bolted down and aligned in the right spots in the slots now. That's where it's totally adjustable. Got a little bit of play on the chain, but not too much. Batteries configured in our battery tray. Solenoid will be mounted right here. It's not quite mounted just yet. Controller will be mounted here. It's not quite mounted just yet either. 
That way we got all of our cable connections are right here close to all of our hot terminals. The solenoid is nice close by and so is our post for the motor. Our accelerator, which that is off, that is full throttle. We'll go through the open in there and we'll have a cable loop around just like the carts do and go up to the throttle cable or the throttle pedal. Coming together. <laughs>